chess video, I'm going to share with you a secret little chess opening trick which can help you win more games. This amazing trick is called the fishing pole trap and you can use it when you're playing as black. I can guarantee that when you play this against your friends, they will think you are a genius. I will show you all the different variations, moves and ideas in this trap. So stay tuned till the end and keep watching Chess Talk. Hello chess friends, I am Jitendra Advani. If this is your first time on this channel and you want to learn some cool chess tricks and become a better chess player, then start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Today's chess trick revolves around the Roy Lopez opening. So let's get straight into it. The Roy Lopez is a very popular opening and it starts with e4, e5, then knight f3, knight c6 and then bishop b5. White's main idea here is to capture the knight and then take the e5 pawn. After this, we continue with knight f6 to attack the e4 pawn. This is called the Berlin defense. Now a very common move you will see from white would be to castle on the king's side. Many of you might be wondering why would white castle? He should instead save his pawn on e4. But the point is that even if we capture, white can play rook to e1 to attack the knight and once the knight goes back, white can easily go ahead and regain the pawn to equalize the position. That's the logic behind castling. So let's go back. Now after white castles, you will not capture on e4. Instead, you will play knight to g4. A typical reaction from white would be to kick off this knight by playing pawn to h3. But we are not going anywhere. We are going to play pawn h5. This is how we are setting up our trap. If white tries to be greedy and captures the knight, then he is in big trouble. Let's see how. So white captures and then we take the pawn. By doing this, we are not only threatening this knight, but we have also opened up this beautiful line for our rook to attack the king. Now if this knight runs away to either e1 or h2, then we can finish off this game in 4 moves. We start with queen h4, threatening checkmate by playing queen to h2 or h1. White is left with no option. He will try to free up the f2 square so that he can run away when he gets a check. So his most natural move would be pawn to f3 or f4. But to his surprise, we have this amazing move pawn to g3 which cuts away all his options to escape. And now the only way to delay the checkmate is to sacrifice the queen. But after queen captures, white is left with no option and on the next move, queen h1 is checkmate. Now let me go back and show you another cool variation. From here, quite often you might see white playing rook to e1. The intention is to support this undefended central pawn. But you have an amazing trap here as well. First you bring out your bishop to c5, double attacking this pawn on f2 with your knight and bishop. Now a very common response from white would be to block off this diagonal with his pawn. But after the following continuation, white will be in serious trouble. So knight takes pawn, knight takes knight. Now you can't take this knight with your bishop because then queen can take this knight and you are down a piece. So the trick here is to play this amazing move queen to h4. As you can see the queen and knight are attacking both f2 and h2. Not to forget this knight is also being attacked by both pawn and bishop. So in this situation a very common reply you will see from black would be knight f3. Saving the knight and at least defending the h2 square. From here we continue with queen f2 check. Then king h1 that's the only move white can play. And now we play this stunning move queen g1 check, sacrificing the queen. Doesn't matter if white takes the queen with the rook or the knight, because we have this absolutely amazing move knight to f2 and it's a beautiful smothered checkmate. Let me know in the comments if you have been successful in playing the fishing pole trap. Hit the thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe for more such chess videos. For some interesting chess tips, tricks and puzzles you can like my Facebook page. Links are in the description box below. Thanks for watching. 